Hey guys, this is going to be the second part of our, you know, videos tutorial series. Um, you know, this is where we stop in our first part of our video tutorial. So when we're trying to create those, this project is asking, hey, there's a file called package.json, which I'll show you later. And it has a dependency, it's already included for the NPM. Do you want to, you know, install the, install the dependency? Is it okay? Yes. So this was that that little the temp that little um, you know the alert was asking about this file called package adjacent. So what happens here is like in in the node application all your dependency. For example, that template that we use for Visual Studio automatically installed Express a, a module or package or and also installed JIT package. This package and all its um, version number. Okay, so. Uh, of course, since you know, uh, we also need the uh, MySQL driver for the Node.js. So let's go ahead and install that install that module too. Remember, like I was talking about npm. So what npm is by default, what the npm is, it's 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 a packet manager. Packet ma packet manager, not really packet manager. I mean, like if you are you know f familiar with the Visual Studio, you know we use NuGet package manager. That's what it is for like Node.js side and for the client side. We can use the NPM to download all the modules. There are like thousands of modules, you know, written by people like us, you know, developer and putting there and so the other people can use it. So what we can use by using NPM, we can basically uh, download all the modules into our project. Let's go ahead and that's the first thing we can do. Let's go into the project and then, uh, you know, of course, you know, you can do all these things if you are not using Visual Studio, you can of course do the same thing. You can use, um, for example, let's say we want to go into some directory. Um, and go into my C drive. And you, let's say I want to create, make a directory here called sample project or something. And then go into sample project. I can now because I have node enable. I can I have I can say npm. I want to install uh, all my dependent using npm. I can install uh, Express here. Okay. Of course, what this template providing us, we don't have to go through. We don't have to write the command here, and then uh, we can do either way. You know what I mean? Like if you do not have Visual Studio IDE, I mean I have I have seen most of the people like they use that. It's a really fancy. I don't know. Some few people use some new ID from Telrix and some, so all. There are like real nice um, ID that you can use. You don't have to rely on Visual Studio. You, you know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, so here I'm coming to Visual Studio. I'm gonna go in here and then I'm gonna open my command prompt from Visual Studio. In here, I'm gonna I'm gonna say npm install well what I would like to install is my SQL uh, module or driver that I need and I'm going to give a save option dash dash save option so that it would be available for this project and it will save it and hit enter it's going to go ahead and download the, the so it, it, remember it is asking you hey there is a new file has come into because I need to write the new file into this dependency if you say yes to all See, it downloaded this MySQL module, and it is the, the current version of that package or module is 2.5.5. And you can see that dependency in here, MySQL. Okay. And the other cool thing with Visual Studio is that, let's say, um, I'm going to say, I want to open a folder in File Explorer. And then here is all the my node module. And if you want to see the code, like you know, you can see this code. Like you can read it. <laughs> you can, you would like to read or whatever. See the, the the source code is here. It's very nice. Okay. Now we have in our application the module that we need. And and you know like it basically created some basic template for us. For example, the whole idea is like. There is a uh, views. It creates some file like uh, 
it, it like using the template called JED that, that I was talking to you earlier. And then of course, you know, it has a route information. This is where you're going to put all your routes. And this is all the public files. So when you write code in, in, in Node.js, in, in, in the beginning it sounds like you're writing code in JavaScript, like you get a little confusing, like which one is server side, which is client side. It's very, very normal to have that feeling, you know, especially if we come from, if you come from server side writing code and writing server side code in JavaScript, right? So that's why they, they have some sort of convention. So like anything that is inside this folder, public folder, for example, this is all client side. You know that is the file that would be available to the client. Okay, but maybe if you write any Angular JS, they all go into here in your JavaScript. Okay, the uh, one more thing I would like to download is like my one of my favorite library is uh, underscore. Let's go ahead and install the uh, install the underscore also. to save it. You can use that for your server side code also. Okay. So that down. It's a very small library. So if you look it into it download it underscore the latest version is 1.8.2. Okay. That is okay how w how do we now if I run this application now from Visual Studio, it, it should be able, it should run. And this is the basic template right here, okay. And of course, this is the template provided by that uh, the, the tool that we downloaded. Okay, the, let's say the idea is we would like to in this menu we don't need this home we don't, we don't need about and contact instead of that we would like to have two more uh, tab here called country list or country search or, or country list just the country list here so of course you know like if you if you are familiar with the ASP.NET it's kind of like I found so much similarity between those two if you go into views and there is a page called layout this is um, the syntax and if you are not familiar with the JED this looks really funky in the beginning <laughs> so um, I want you know I I started learning slowly by you know kind of like looking at the source code and modifying it so this is it's rendered as a home in here I can just grab this one of these in indeed the 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 tabbing is very very important that's so I'm gonna say uh, Country list. The idea is like I want to have that. Okay. One at a time, right? Now we should have country list. Of course, right now that even if I do a country list, it is going into the contact um, URL. Cont it went to a contact page because you know it is it is pointing to the contact, which is basically this file here. Okay. We have a menu. Now, at least we let's write um. Let's add a new view here, okay? So that when I do uh, when I click into country list, it goes into actual country list rather than going to the some other contact view. I'm gonna go ahead and add add a new um temp new JIT file. I'm going to name this guy as country list. And of course, I would like to have that um, same layout. So I need to I need to have these two pieces of information here. This is a just a little JED, okay? The JED template. How does it work? So this extend basically saying, hey, this page is kind of like a master page if you if you come from ASP.NET, the web form, you know, uh, a background. This is like a master page or, or just a layout page in ASP.NET MVC. Okay. Of 
course, do you think it might? Which do you think we might be able to 